He's here. <laughs> I'll be very cool. All right. <laughs> oh my god! Baby! 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 <laughs> Come in! I'm so glad to see you! You look awesome! It'll be my first time meeting David. I'm not sure what to expect. Hey. David. Hey, hey, what's up, baby? Carl. What's happening? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a decade, you know what I'm saying? Come and on, this man. is Tiger, Tiger David. I love about you, man. What's uh, going on, man? You want to say that like? Almost. The brotherhood is together. No, just uh, have a seat. Let me take your bag. Sure. You know, Kendall was very giddy, and we haven't really seen her in that state in a, in a while, uh, kind of like tripping over herself. Puts me a little on my edge because I'm suddenly being moved out of Kenya's bedroom just as another person is suddenly coming back into her life. Yo, I don't even throw the word simping around, but this is the most simpistic. I, see, I just made something up, but this is the most simpistic thing I've ever seen in my life. She's ma she's originally married to the light skinned dude because I seen like their YouTube channel. She's originally married to the light skinned dude. The one in the blue shirt is her new boy is her boyfriend. But she still goes out on on dates and f other dudes. And now she done bought homie in here. So now she got three, and these dudes is acting like they okay with it. I'm a man. A lot of y'all looking at this is men, and I know. Deep down, I don't care how open you are, as a man, you move on pride. As a man, you move on pride, bro. They're not okay with this. They're not okay with each other to be okay with another dude coming in there. This shit just got me mad. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> oh, shit, God. This is Moonstone. Moonstone, say hi to David. Hey, Moonstone. Say, that's daddy number three. <laughs> <laughs> Kane looks great. She's the same. She's beautiful. Same shape. Same exact energy. Same person. Oh, it's so good to see you. So what's going on, fellas? Hey, hey man. On? Just chillin', just chillin'. What are you doing now? Yo, he just G-checked the whole room. He just G-checked the whole room. Homie came in there with big... Energy, no homo. He just G checked. Yo, hold on, folks. I gotta, I gotta light my sh. I gotta light my sh. All right, now we not doing that. I need this. This shit need to light. It, it need to light for me to um, for me to, <laughs> for me to watch the rest of this video. I gotta light my stuff, bro, because it's. I'm not going. I'm not going, bro. I'm not going. It's taking a lot out of me to watch this shit. I am not going. There is no way. Um, I produce and create music. Okay, mm. that's what's up. You and Kendra, you know, you guys were really in love and had a, an amazing relationship. And then chance. you guys went your separate ways. What do you feel that it is about now that brings you all back together? So my main thing is about money now. I decided, you know, I gotta take care of my mom, take care of my family in general, so I don't really have time to invest in a woman 100% no gotcha. more. But I still want, you know, affection and love. I feel like Kenya is the only one who can understand my lifestyle right now. I definitely feel like we have a stronger connection now that we can understand each other's perspectives. It just makes sense. I'm going to take out Moonstone. You're okay here with the guys? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we'll just chop it up. The three of us will just talk and we'll oh, This is going up. swell. Thank you. <laughs> I'm the luckiest woman on the planet. It's so nice that Tiger and Carl want to vet David. Like, what if a woman had a man to vet all of her new dates that she met online, to make sure he's cool, to talk to him, let him know what, to, what we expect here? You understand? That's like a privilege. Bro, this is not okay. I'm going to tell you why this is not okay. As a man, right? 
when you go outside in this world, you're in competition. You have to put on this, like, machismo, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to kill, I'm ready to die. You have to put that on, right? And that's because you're going to be amongst other men. So now, imagine you coming back in your house, a place where you're not even really supposed to have that energy. But now you have two other niggas you competing with. Like you have to be on kill mode every single day. Outside your house, inside your house. Because you want to be a simp. And give your woman, quote unquote, whatever she want. And she don't even, yo, bro, all she doing is, is finding bigger dicks. That, that's what it looked like to me. All she's doing is finding bigger penises. Because homie walked in there like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, y'all know what I'm here for. How you doing, fellas? I wish another grown-ass man would come in my house and let his nuts hang on my couch. What the, what? What? It shit just got me upset, look, motherfucker. Oh, 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 I just, just burnt my damn hand, cuz. This shit just got me upset, bro. Look, this joint's still light. It's still lit, bro. It just really got me upset, so I'm like, homie really came in there and like, and, 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 there's, let me tell y'all something, there's a, a difference with making your woman happy and making your woman walk over you, and the light-skinned dude is the definition of, I made my woman walk over me, because even if even if right, he decides yo, you know what? It's over with. I don't feel as though. Oh, my son just woke up for school. I'm sorry. Um, even if he decides that he don't feel as though he want to continue this this path of openness with his wife, and he tells her, "Hey, it's over with. You gotta get rid of them two dudes. Their marriage is not gonna last. Cause one, she don't respect him." She doesn't respect you anymore. You feel what I'm saying? She just said, oh, I got, it's three daddies now. She has three daddies now, cuz. I wish my, my wife would call another man daddy in front of my face. Even her own daddy. God damn it. What you mean you got three daddies now? How are you okay with your woman calling other men daddy that ain't give birth to her? In your presence. You can't do that. This, this, mm-mm. Mm -mm, I ain't going. I ain't going for that. I'm sorry. I ain't. I, 